Morning, everybody. Good to be back on the broadcast again today. We hope that you're all feeling well and making plans to be at the uh, Lord's house this morning. It's good to be serving God, the, the risen God, the living God. And just pray the Lord will touch and help us and uh, pray for the needs in our country. Pray that there be a moving of the Spirit of God across this land and that eyes would be awoke, awoken to uh, uh, the deceit and the things that are being brought against us. So we want to pray. Remember the sick, remember the afflicted, uh, members of Sonia uh, Tidmore, as uh, uh, we got a request there, she's got pneumonia and needs prayer for her kidneys, and I did get to talk with Jimmy uh, Weaver this week on the phone, and uh, he's doing well, uh, that still needs prayer, so let's do pray for him, keep praying for David Agnew, and keep praying for uh, David Sipsy, he's to go in uh, the 2nd of June, and uh, I have a hard calf down in Birmingham. Brother Leon is going to go. They want to check the other side of his neck and see what needs to be done there or if anything. Let's pray about that. Uh, others in our church uh, having surgeries, eye uh, and things done to their eyes, and first one thing and another. Then there's a lot of people that's lost loved ones. I tell you, there's been a lot of death in the last uh, a week or so. Let's remember each family. Uh, that's lost a loved one, and then let's pray for these in the homes, hospitals, and the rest homes today. So let's go to the Lord in prayer. If you're lost, you're a special guest this morning. If you're a first-time watcher, why, we welcome you and hope that we'll say or do something that will be a help to you and a blessing. And you pray for us that we might be uh, strong in the Lord and the power of His mind. And we uh, don't feel good in body this morning, but... Feel good in the Lord, and that's all that matters, isn't it? So we send this out to all, all of you. May God bless you, and all the requests is out in the Facebook audience. We uh, do want to remember you and pray for you. So let us pray together. Father, we thank you that you gave us this day. God, we praise you for this blessing that we've come back into the house of God. And Lord, that you give us this audience of people, uh, both by radio and by Facebook, and God, that we pray that we might be a help and reach out through the power of the Holy Spirit and touch the hearts and the heart lives of the people. We pray if there's one lost, that this might be the day they come to know you as Lord and Savior of their life. We pray for the much sickness, God. You're the great physician. We realize that. And God, without you, Lord, nothing can be done. But we ask you to move upon these needs and touch them and to help them, God, in every way. Father, bless our church, the outreach of our church. And uh, God, let us be an extension of your arms of grace that we might minister uh, in the ways that you see fit. Give us wisdom and knowledge. And uh, God, fill us with your spirit. And God, let us be bold in all things that you would have us to do. We do love you today. Touch our homes and families, we pray, oh Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Well, we send it to Clyde and Ernie. Hope you're feeling well. I sure did appreciate you, the note uh, that you sent uh, to us, Sister Ernie. And uh, uh, it's always good to hear. I, I love uh, when people write little notes and stuff and send to us. And uh, we thank the Lord for you. I uh, want to send our program to them, also to Sister Bobby and uh, Bobby always writes a little note on her card, and we appreciate you so much. And uh, also, uh, I want to send it to Mary Ann, Miss Alice, she always does, and we send it to her, and, and Sister Joe always does, and Linda and Charles. But we send it to all of y'all today, and may God bless you and touch you and help. And uh, uh, amen. I hadn't got to hear uh, about uh, Sister Joe's surgery, so maybe I can find out something there. Uh, on that, and let's do pray uh, for each one of these needs, and then we want to send it to Brother Dewey, we want to send it out to uh, Jimmy over in the Dry Creek, we want to send it to every church that's represented today, I know Leon Liz is, is listening, we send it to them, and we got folks in the church that's watching by means of Facebook, we want to send it to all of you, I know Wanda and others in our church that are watching, and uh, uh, Kathy, and uh, we do appreciate you out there today. And, uh, to all of our church folk, I know Kathy uh, Blackman's probably listening, and uh, Connie's probably uh, listening and watching, and we appreciate all of you out there today. We send it to Donna, Chris, and uh, Johnny, and Jeanette, and Johnny and Dee, and 
uh, we just thank the Lord for you today. So uh, may God bless you as our prayer. We'll get started. Send it to our neighbors, uh, all that are uh, watching, listening. May the Lord bless y'all. And we appreciate you uh, today. And listen to this old song, Anger on the Other Side of the Earth. know that he's listening and uh, we appreciate you today. Randy and Donna, we send it out to y'all and Malcolm and Ann and I hope Malcolm is doing well today. And, uh, we just appreciate you and all of our preacher friends today. May God bless each one of you and I hope this song will be a blessing same key to you. Listen to the words of the Lord. Oh, how we will Reality. 
Send that to Rodney and Christy Parker if y'all are listening today. May God bless each one of you. All right, come around, Joseph. You pray for Joseph. And I know the Lord will bless you out there today. Amen. I'd like to send it out to uh, Randy, Cindy, and Wanda. I know y'all are listening. And, uh, to uh, Keith and Rose Chapman, and Miss Cook, and to David. And I'm sure he's listening. Michelle, maybe. And, uh, and uh, send it out to Mary Davis and her family, J.B., and he is, and uh, Diane Chance uh, has said that he's on there listening, so we send it to you as well. We appreciate all y'all. We love all y'all, and just thank God for this opportunity to be here. I know what someone wants to do, we just got to find it here. So, thought I knew about where it was, but I apparently didn't know about where it was. But it is here. If Al was here, He'd be saying, uh, uh, you going to sing all them songs or something like that? Uh, maybe I'll find it. Let's just do this. So, no. Kid <laughs>
and on half control. Oh, she's so my soul, you might be a beast, you see. When God sent a rainbow to brighten up my dark day. As many times I've gave up on myself, but he has never gave up on me. Amen. Amen. I love it, Lord. Uh, just, just do this one. Let's just do this one. It's As Jesus said into my that day, he left us a promise he was coming back someday. Now we are to be watching and wait for his return. Running with patience, that race that we must run. He's coming each day now. The big shout has now. The big gets come to take you right away. He's coming, sits far down. The big is lost to get now. The big gets come and it could be day. If Jesus said he's coming, yes, he's coming back again. But you won't be going if you're still bound by your sin. Well, he said he is coming as a thief inside. And if you're not ready, you'll sure be left behind. He's coming every day now. Come in, shout past now. Come in, get come to take you right away. He's coming, sit fall down. Come in, it's lost to get found. A big gets come and it could be today. Now Jesus shed his blood there on Calvary's hill. For those who are hungry, that their soul might be filled. So if you stick in for the green light, don't wait any longer, cause he may come tonight. He's coming in daytime. A big shout house now. A big gets come to take his right away. He's coming, sits fall down, coming and lost to get round, coming, gets come to think the these days. Now the world says Jesus is dead, he is true, but I know he's alive and soon they will do. He's coming, he's dead now, coming, shout house now, coming, gets come to take his right away. He's coming, it's come, and it could be today. He's coming, it's come, and it could be today. Amen. I'm glad he's coming. Now, he's left me that promise today. And uh, I pray that the Lord is touching all of you out there this morning. That everything that uh, that you pray, you pray in the name of Jesus and expect God to send forth his answer. And he does today. He be, baby. And uh, may the Lord bless you today. I have done this in a while. You've been my life for so long. Oh, 
I'm glad that he's the best thing that ever happened to me. All right, uh, Joseph, you come around and do another song, and then uh, if we have time, we'll do another. So you pray the Lord a blessing today. Amen. <coughs> Uh, maybe be flat, I'm not sure. That's right. So, so lost and full of sin, I had no peace with me. The life I lived was all of self My joy was in the pain. Yeah. 
Today. I'm glad the book of Revelation, friend of mine, I know for certain it predicts my future. It tells me, amen, all things that I got to look forward to. It. And it also tells the lost today uh, what they got to look forward to. But I'm glad I'm saved. I'm glad that I've been washed in the blood of Jesus Christ, sealed by the Holy Spirit, and looking up. <laughs> amen. Amen. I'm looking up today. I hope that you are. Let me. Lay my books out of the way here today, and uh, I never know exactly what we're going to sing. I, I just uh, wait till I get here and trust in the Lord to lead me and guide me in the direction that we need. Amen. You see, I, I, I don't know your heart, and I don't know what you're feeling, but God does. And so, uh, <laughs> amen. Uh, it takes somebody pretty, pretty uh, unstable to think they know more than God does. Amen. Amen. So uh, uh, we want you to pray for us. We're in 1 John. Brother Fred Walker would say little John, but they're all the same John. <laughs> Amen. But we're going to be in chapter 3. We're going to read the first three verses uh, this morning. So we need your prayers that you pray for us and pray God would bless. And I hope that you follow along in your Bible. And we... We always uh, preach and read and study out of the King James Bible. A lot of people today, they uh, they look down on the King James Bible. But I tell you, if you're looking down on the King James Bible, what do you have that you can look up to? Amen. <laughs> uh, amen. <laughs> Just saying it, amen, that blessed your heart today. Uh, so listen to what i got to uh, spring to you through the, through the leadership of God. The Bible said, Behold, what manner of love. The Father has bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And every man that hath this hope in him purifieth himself, even as he is pure. Let us pray. Father, we thank you, God, for this most blessed day. What a beautiful day outside, Lord, that you have given us as the sun has come up again. But yet there are so many, both the, the righteous and the wicked, that will not take time to give you praise and thanks for this great day. And this opportunity that's been set for mankind, that hearts that are lost can be saved. Eternities can be changed today with a simple prayer of faith. Calling upon your name, God, hell would not be enlarged by the soul of that one if they would just call upon your name this morning. We ask you, God, that your children might rejoice in realizing that even though this world is full of hatred and despite and ungodliness and wretchedness, there is a place that's been prepared for those that love you, a God, where these things will not be. We ask you, God, to reach out and touch someone today. If they're hurting, if they're uh, been spiritually bad of God, if they're confused, whatever, uh, that you might touch and minister. And God, for those that are in pain physically, uh, that your hand might be put upon them wherever they might be. And uh, God, that they might feel your presence there today. We do love you and thank you now and ask you, God, to touch in Jesus' name. 
Amen. And amen. I want to talk just a little while on the thought when I see Jesus. I, I hope that this will, uh, will be a very uh, uplifting to you. And a uh, friend of mine, as it was, as God spoke to my heart last night. In Philippians 3 and 20, the Bible says, For our conversation, or our citizenship, is what it's talking about, uh, is in heaven. From whence also we look for the Savior, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ. And then I want you to notice this verse 21. Who shall change our vile body, that it might be fashioned like unto his glorious body, according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. Did you get that today, friend of mine? I, I, what a blessed promise Paul is speaking unto the church. And, uh, so if he's speaking unto the church, therefore I, uh, it is applied to each and every one of us that are born again, having our our sins are washed clean in the precious blood of Jesus, uh, uh, the Lamb of God that gave his life uh, uh, so that we can be saved and have a home in glory. Uh, uh, this body of ours today, friend of mine, this fleshly body, uh, uh, is not fit for God's heaven. I want you to know that. Uh, uh, we're sinful creatures today. We're creatures that have practiced the ways of sin. Uh, uh, friend, it's a body of humiliation. Uh, uh, there has been no place in heaven, no work can you find. Uh, uh, in the Word of God, uh, uh, where there's been any place in heaven that's been prepared uh, uh, for this body in which we now dwell, there's just no place for it. Uh, uh, I've been to mind it's a wretched tabernacle. Uh, uh, it, it has the characteristics of sin. And uh, uh, there'll be no sin in heaven. I want you to know that. Uh, uh, this body must be changed for us to stand. Uh, uh, in the presence of the Lord himself. Uh, and the Bible tells us, friend of mine, uh, 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 that our body uh, uh, will be fashioned like unto his glorious body. Uh, uh, that blows my mind, does it yours today? Uh, uh, friend of mine, Jesus not only loved me enough uh, uh, to hang on that cruel old tree, uh, uh, to make an atonement for me, uh, uh, to pay my sin dead uh, uh, by the shedding of his blood for my remission. Now, he not only has he gone to prepare a place for me, uh, I with the promise that he's coming back to get me. Uh, uh, but now, friend of mine, we're told uh, uh, that we're going to have a glorified body, uh, uh, just like he uh, 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 to enable us to see him uh, and be where he is today. Uh, uh, won't that make you want to praise the Lord uh, after all that he's done to save us? Uh, and now we got a body body from it. Uh, uh, not a body like the one we're in. Uh, uh, but one that is glorified. Uh, uh, there'll be no pain, no suffering. Uh, uh, there'll be no death uh, uh, that can touch or hinder that body uh, uh, that we're going to receive on the other side. Uh, and the Bible tells us there's going to be a change. Uh, uh, the corruptible must put on incorruption. Uh, uh, that's those that are dead. Uh, and the more must put on immortality. Uh, and that's those that are living when Jesus comes. Uh, and to rapture his children. Uh, and then in birth, that's 1 Corinthians 15, 53. Uh, and verse 54 says, uh, and so when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, uh, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, uh, and then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, uh, and death is swallowed up in victory. Uh, O oh, death, where is thy sting? Uh, o oh, grave, where is thy victory? Uh, uh, the sting of death is sin. Uh, uh, the strength of sin is the law. Uh, uh, but thanks be unto God, uh, uh, which giveth us the victory. Uh, uh, to the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, lift up your hands out there today, folk. Uh, uh, we're not going down, uh, uh, but we're going up. Uh, uh, there's going to be a change that you made uh, I have this old body uh, uh, that we can dwell in the presence of God. Uh, uh, this is a mystery to the world. Uh, I admit that in some respect uh, it's a mystery to all of us. Uh, uh, but by faith we believe uh, and therefore we're expecting uh, a change to be made. Uh, Paul said, Behold, I show you a mystery. Uh, uh, we shall not all sleep or 
me dead. Uh, uh, but we shall all be chained. Uh, uh, listen to me out there today. Uh, uh, you may be in a body uh, uh, that's being, uh, 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 that's tortured uh, uh, from the things that's come again to bleed. Uh, uh, but there's going to come a day uh, uh, that you'll have a brand new one. Uh, uh, if you've been washed in the blood uh, and sealed by the Holy Ghost of God. Uh, now listen when I see Jesus. Uh, now there must be something more uh, uh, spectacular than words can convey. Uh, I can understand about seeing him. Uh, Acts chapter 7 uh, as it's about the stone old Stephen. Uh, uh, they were cut to their heart uh, uh, by the words that he had spoken. Uh, uh, the Bible tells us uh, and but he being full of the Holy Ghost, I looked up steadfastly into heaven. I can I tell you that's where the Holy Spirit will direct your attention. If you feel with the Spirit of God, your attention will be on heavenly things. Your affection will be set on the things of God. I will listen, friend. And the Bible said when he saw, and he saw the glory of God, and Jesus standing on the right hand of God. God, I love it. Listen, I this changed everything for Stephen. Oh, listen, he knew no doubt and that he was saved. He knew that he had faith that this life was not the end. But when he looked up through the eyes of the Holy Spirit, oh, he could see the glory of God. He could see Jesus standing at the right hand of God. Oh, Oh, can you imagine that? I feel when you're standing at death's door, I'd be able to look from this world over into the other side and see our Savior, bless God, standing there in a place of authority, waiting to welcome us on the other side. I'll listen for old Stephen. It was a thrilling experience. And as he began, him to share it uh, with his accuser. Uh, now let me say to you that his accuser uh, uh, were being led by demonic spirit. Uh, uh, that crowd was demonic. Uh, uh, just like those Joseph told me about. Uh, uh, standing up there protesting. Uh, I want America to attack Israel. Uh, uh, they're of a demonic spirit. Uh, amen. The people that uh, uh, we need to rise up against is that bunch. Uh, uh, amen. I'll tell you that. Click, cut me off if you want. Uh, uh, but I'm just telling you the truth today. Uh, uh, these folk were of a demonic spirit. Uh, uh, well, listen, uh, uh, the Bible said a uh, uh, friend of mine that they cried out uh, uh, with the loud voice. Uh, uh, that's the characteristic uh, uh, of a demonic spirit. Uh, uh, they stopped their ears. Uh, uh, they just couldn't bear to hear anymore. Uh, 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 that's the characteristic of uh, a demonic spirit. Uh, they don't want to hear the word of God uh, because the hearing of the word of God uh, will cast them out uh, of the life of those that are possessed. Uh, it'll take the word of God. Uh, and they ran upon him, the Bible said, uh, uh, in one accord. Uh, uh, the devil can draw a crowd quicker than anything. Uh, uh, well, once together, uh, uh, led by the same anger, uh, by the same spirit uh, of destruction and heartache. Uh, I listen, they stoned old Stephen. Uh, uh, but how did they stone him? Uh, uh, by call, he was calling upon the Lord. Uh, uh, calling upon God. Uh, I say in friend of mine, Lord Jesus, uh, I'll receive my spirit. Uh, uh, what was he saying, friend of mine? Uh, he said, bring me uh, out of where you are. Uh, uh, he done looked up into heaven. Uh, he done saw the one uh, uh, that he gave his life to. Uh, and now just a few heartbeats away from dead. Uh, and he looked at him, no doubt. Uh, uh, by praying this prayer uh, and was asking Jesus, uh, uh, come and get me uh, and bring me where you are. Uh, uh, listen to me today. Thank God. Uh, I'm glad we have that hope. Uh, up in the mind uh, uh, 
in this life is over. I, I, that well see Jesus. I, I, and he prayed that. I, I, the Lord would not lay this sin to their charge. I, I, surely God's grace was there on the scene. I, I, grace to deliver old Stephen. I, I, grace to let him leave. I, I, with the heart of forgiveness. I, I, for the enemies that were stoning him to death. I, I, I listen. I, I, doesn't it give you peace to know I, I, that when death comes, I, I, Jesus will be there. I, I believe in the amazing grace. I, I believe in dying grace. I, I believe there will be grace for you I, if you're prepared to meet God I, I, when it comes time to leave this world. I, I'm glad I ain't going to have to cross Jordan along. I, I, yeah, I know I've walked to the valley of the shadow of death. I, I will bear no evil. I, I for thou art with me, David said. I, I, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. I'll listen to me today, friend. I, I, when we see him, I, I, nothing else is going to matter. I, I, the world and all its charm I, is going to swiftly fade away. I, I, listen, we tried to picture I, I, in our hearts and mind I, I, what Jesus looks like. I, and to some degree, I guess, I, I, we found some satisfaction. I, I would wait till we see him I, I, like he really is. I, I, there ain't no words to describe I, I, the glorious sight of our Jesus. I, oh, listen to me, friend of mine. I, I, as I go, I go off. I, I Thomas said when they told him the Lord was alive I, I, that he resurrected and they'd seen him. I, I, Thomas said, I'll not believe I, except I see the nail prints in his hand. I, except I put my finger I, I, in those brand. I, I, but when he saw Jesus, I, I, everything changed. I, I, he said, my God, I, I, my Lord and my God, I, I, listen to me, friend of mine. I, I want to guarantee you today, I, everything's going to change I, I, when you see Jesus. I, everything's going to be word. I, every battle you fought, I, every mountain you climbed, I, every Everybody you walk through, it's all going to be worth it Amen. when we see Jesus. I'm glad I can preach on that today. I hope, dear friend of mine, that if you're downtrodden by the things of this life, that you can look beyond that and look up and realize that there's a God in heaven Amen. that he loves you and he's coming back and one day you'll have a body uh, and that you can stand in the presence of God Amen. and live uh, forever and ever and we'll see Jesus uh, amen this morning amen. Uh, God bless you till 11 o'clock uh, thank you for listening today amen